Hello! So, I wasn't sure what to film today because there's not an awful lot going on, but then I thought that's quite relatable really, isn't it? When you go through these hard times, like I've been through with Billy, which has been so stressful, it kind of just encompasses everything and you don't really have any energy or brain power left to think about anything else. So, Paul McAllister, whilst I've been focusing all my efforts on Billy and the vet and the farrier and how I'm going to afford food ever again, um, McAllister's just been ticking along. So I thought I'd just give you a little update on Billy because he's had quite, quite significant progress. He's doing really well. And I'd get McAllister in and take him for a little ride. That's, <laughs> that's all I've got, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not going to shows, I'm not doing anything, I've literally just been all on Billy trying to get him better and that has worked, touch wood, touch wood. Um, that's paid off so yes, very relaxed day, we'll get back to the show vlogs and like hunting and things in a few weeks. So they're both out in the field now, it is blooming hot today, like it's super super hot, see I couldn't even film here because the sun's so bright. Oh no, just lead the way. Hello gorgeous boy. Flies are bothering you aren't they? Yes. Yesterday the farrier came out and took Billy's bandages off and put a bar shoe on. So he has actually got a shoe on under there. Um, he's just got this on over the top to kind of stop. There's still a big hole in his hoof and it's just to protect that, stop anything getting in, stop it getting infected. But he's basically got the same as on this hoof, Billy. He's got the same bar shoe, except it's been modified to have um, a panel up the front. And you can see the farrier's opened this up as well, because we thought rather than risking anything getting stuck in there and causing another problem like the one that we've just gone through, slash are still going through, um, we just open it up now and get ahead of anything nasty that might happen so yes we're getting there my barefoot horse has shoes on but that's literally the least of my worries i'm just happy that he's comfortable and he's happy you're on the mend boy aren't you you're a good boy oh hello kelly you want some attention as well horse flies. Um, I almost chewed my head collar. What a surprise. Fly spray. When you compare this year to last year, my life is completely different with the horses. Like last year, I don't know why I'm waving this around at you. Like last year I had three, sometimes four horses, all doing competitions and like doing things pretty much every week. And this year I've just not, I took him to that one show, him. I took McAllister to that one show, was that April? We're now in July and I've done nothing else. So I don't know, it's just it's definitely a different sort of year. Um, yeah, so I'm sorry if it's not been that interesting, but I'm sure it will pick up again soon. We are out the woods now. Um, yeah, so Paul McAllister's not really done too many exciting things. He's just been like out hacking or going in my neighbor's menage. Um, there's not been too many excitements. But then he is only five. It's not gonna do him any harm to have a quieter few months. I am intending to like pick back up with everything but we'll just have to see. Like maybe I'll miss the show jumping season and I'll just wait to go hunting with him. I don't, I'm undecided yet. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Where is it? What's it, Jane? I think all I'm gonna do with McAllister is take him down the road for like 15 minutes because it's so hot. He's getting really bothered by the flies. 
I know, baby, I know. Um, <laughs> hello. <laughs> He's getting really bothered by the flies. It's warm. Like, I don't want to get t-shirt tan lines. So, short and sweet. I'm just going to put some draw reins on him just to, like, get the most bang for our buck. Like, even then, if we only do 15 minutes of walk and maybe a tiny bit of trot, he'll still be he'll still be getting a little bit more you know so he's not just walking down the road ambling along we'll get him actually working and do something productive even though we're only going for a little poodle and we've left the dogs in here with a little water bucket <laughs> Actually now we've got going a little bit, it's not that warm, well obviously it is really warm, but there's a nice breeze, we're in the shade quite a lot because we're going through this bridal path, and I'm having a jolly nice time, so we're just gonna chill out, I mean I'm not doing anything too strenuous with him, he's been walking, he's probably done a combined total of two minutes of trotting, we're just, we're just enjoying our Saturday very leisurely. So you know it's a good one. <laughs> what noises? What was that? Yes. Good boy. Oh, such a good boy. Right. I'm going to go and get changed into something like more forgiving for tan lines and come and poo pick the field and check their waters and things. So this is what we're wearing. We've got a little, um, you can't see the bottom of it and I can't move the camera any lower. 
a fun little yellow sundress moment. I'm gonna take my book up into the paddock with me and just chill with the horses and uh, read my book. I'm gonna leave the dogs in the house because they've had more than enough exercise and it's roasting hot. So, that's the plan, let's go. Mm -hmm. 